Hey everybody, welcome back to Action Football Sundays, and we've got a big one for you today as we host the Green Bay Packers in a big, big game, and uh, I hope that we get a good performance, especially out of our offense. Um, as I was saying last week, I was a little bit uh, concerned about the way that we played against Seattle. Um, I thought we could have played a lot better, and I thought that there was a lot of uh, disappointment that came from us. We're playing against this Packer team now that I believe is 4-1 and one and are um, playing quite well. Um, so far this season um, and so we better hope that we get um, a good performance here out of uh, both the offense and the defense and uh, just like that as we start this game off I'm actually going to show as if I'm going to run but we're going to call a little uh, pass play here we're going to uh, throw a little pass over here to Rucker or a short pass and see if we can uh, confuse them right away and man that was the right play as you can see the Reggie had uh, his uh, defense beat and um, the pass unfortunately from Sipe was not quite good enough and so that brings it up second down here we'll go to Mike Pruitt here on that left hand side just like we did last time and see how it goes and Pruitt is able to gain looks like uh, three yards yep third and seven coming up here for the Browns uh, just like that and uh we have action for you right away. We're going to go to a third wide receiver here, and we'll do a little pass over to Ozzie Newsom on the uh, hitch and see what we can find. As complete does Newsom. Does he have enough? He does not have enough for the first down. That brings up uh, fourth and one. And, boy, let's see. Trying to think if it's really worth it or not. I'm going to take a quick look. So it looks like here when I'm looking at the Packer line, they don't have a whole ton of guys who are playing great against the run. Um, and so because of that, I'm thinking that it may behoove us to uh, try to go back in this uh, I formation and to run a dive play to Mike Pruitt up the middle. Um, again, in real life, you probably wouldn't be taking this type of risk in 1980. And, man, we're not going to make it, are we? Oh, no, we do. We barely make it for first down. Man, oh, man, this game always keeps you on edge. The reason why I wanted to do that is because I'm thinking, man, it's fourth and one. And looking at the position of the ball here, I'm thinking, I mean, we're not, if we end up giving this ball up on, uh, it's, if it's a turnover on downs, I think that we can sort of still make it work. Um, anyway, we wind up getting the first down. That's the thing that counts. Now we'll go over here to Charlie White, and we'll um, give it over to him on the right side and see what happens here right from the get-go. White's got it. Moves forward upfield, gains two, which is not too bad. That's uh, probably about as much as we could expect from uh, what the situation called for, and we'll do Ozzy Newsom now here in a little uh, cross, I think I, I think is what I chose. And there's Newsom wide open there, gets behind his man, fumbles, and uh, fortunately Reggie Rucker's there to make the recovery. Um, that time, did you see that, right? We'll take another look at this again. So that time the chalkboard actually worked right, right? So there was a fumble, and uh, Rucker's right there and gets the ball, and you can see that he's got the ball. That's the way it's supposed to work, right? I don't understand why sometimes there's a fumble and it's like the players are like running on the other side of the field. So whatever, I, I don't know. I don't make these games, you know, I don't know what is involved, but um, there's a lot lot of weird stuff that happens going to the left side now with a trap um over to Pruitt and uh Pruitt's got nothing going and that probably was not the right play call on my part and um let's see what we can do here we're going to pass again we're going to pass it over here to uh, Dave Logan and uh, see if we can get him a little bit involved here in the early going and uh it's a penalty that's pass interference maybe yes pass interference in the defense by McCoy 16 yard penalty at the spot of the foul automatic first down and uh, McCoy was just all over him. And now we're going to go over to Reggie, a little short out route, and, uh, again, try to just confuse the defense a little bit. And that's an awful pass, almost intercepted. And um, poorly, poorly done there by uh, Brian Sipe. And we'll go – I probably should have chose the right side this time. We'll go to the left side here with Pruitt and see if we can get anything going. We probably should think about running it a little bit more against Green Bay because of uh, what we just saw with that offensive line. As you can see, not a lot of great run protection here, especially, again, on that left side. Um, and we have that's where we have our good uh, run blockers um, ourselves. So we might want to think about that here in the future as we move along. But for right now, we're going to want to do um, a, a more passing-friendly formation and probably go to feature here with a little short hitch pass uh, feature we rarely go to. And it's complete to him, and uh, the tackle's made there, and that's a gain of 10, which is more than we needed, and it's first and 10 here on the Green Bay 24-yard line, and we're going to go back here to the I formation again, and we're going to go, I think, again to Pruitt here with a little sweep on the left side. Let's make those blockers block for Green Bay, 
and uh, it goes back, and uh, unfortunately, Pruitt runs right into the uh, defensive end as a loss of three. That was a pretty poor uh, blocking job there on the part of, um, uh, I guess it was Doug Deacon there, who uh, <clears throat> wasn't quite able to get his man. So we'll go to Newsom again here with a little slant. And they're showing blitz. I don't think that they're going to blitz, but let's see. They do blitz. It's a um, sort of a deep blitz, and uh, we try to dump it off to Pruitt, and uh, nothing happens, and that's an incomplete pass. And so we'll go here to one of these more fancy formations. We'll throw a little pass over to Logan and see uh, if we can if we can get a completion here, third and 13. And it's complete to Logan there on the sideline, and he's going to be just short, one yard short of the first down. So that brings up fourth and one. We should kick the field goal here. I'm not going to be quite that adventurous. Out comes Cockroft, and the snap is there. The kick is up, and that is good. And it's 3 nothing Cleveland here, and uh, let's hope that the defense can hold them. So we took up uh, just about the first half of the first quarter alone with that drive that resulted in three points. And that's kind of what we want to see. Good kickoff, and that pins them. That pins them down at the uh, Green Bay 12-yard line, which is what we want to see. First and ten for the Packers, and we are going to play man with two zone defensive backs as we usually do. Now I haven't done a good job of uh, of scouting this team. My guess is that they're probably going to wind up running here at the beginning. In fact, my guess is that they'll probably run it to Ivory um, to start off the game. So we'll do, again, the 3-4 uh, defense as usual. We'll key Ivory, and let's see what happens here. <clears throat> First and 10 for Green Bay. It is a run to Ivory, and uh, he gets tripped up after gain of one. That brings up second down, and um, we're going to do not king anybody. We're just going to do a total basic uh, defense and see what they give us. Ends up being Dickey going back for the pass, and it's complete to Lofton, who's got it just way above that corner back there. And I'm starting to remember why last game we were doing a lot more in the zone. We'll go back to the 3-4, and maybe we will have a little zone. We'll do just a normal zone here, and we'll look for the pass this time and see what they do, see if they run or not. It is a run. It's a run to Ellis this time, and he ends up getting, it looks like, about five yards, seven yards in that play, and that brings up second and three. And uh, we're going to stay in the zone, and we're going to protect here, I think, against the run, just because that's what I would do in the situation. And, of course, they end up passing. But, uh, fortunately, the zone holds strong, and that's an incomplete pass. Third and three now, and we will look for the pass, stay in the zone. And they're in the I formation, but they are going to pass, just as I thought. It ends up being a little uh, dump pass out to Ivory, or a little screen pass, I should say. And he ends up gaining eight yards, and... Um, yeah, that one caught that defense off guard, and that brings up first and 10 for Green Bay, and I think that's something we're going to have to be used to um, if we continue to play in the zone. First and 10, we'll just play basic here, and uh, it's Thompson now, the wide receiver with the run, and uh, ends up with a loss of five as our linebacker sort of teleported there. The uh, the uh, <clears throat> chalkboard here for Action PC Football is kind of fun to watch. Um and uh, they're they're probably going to pass here, so we'll play um, looking for the pass. And here's Dickey back to throw, and it's uh, up the gut to Kaufman. Uh, their tight end complete for a nine-yard gain. That brings up third and six, and we're going to look here, probably look for the pass here, I'm guessing is what they're going to call. And nope, it ends up being a run to Ivory, and uh, he's not going to get it. He ends up getting three yards, and that brings up fourth and three, and they're going to punt. So pretty good job by that rubber band defense. As you can see, we have managed to hold them. And what do they do? They call a fake punt, which is a totally crazy play. I guess I could see it from that part of the field, but now you've given the ball over to us at the uh, Cleveland 46-yard line, first and 10. I don't know. What do you think about that play? I mean, let me know what you think down below in the comments, as always. Um, I think that that was a little bit adventurous, um, given uh, the uh, time of game, I mean, here in the uh, first quarter. We're going to try a little run to the left now with Pruitt. Try that sweep play again. And this time he's able to get past that defensive end. Gains four yards on the play, and that'll bring up second down. We'll play a little bit slow here. And uh, we're going to do a little pass, I think, over to Newsom. We'll have a little crossing pattern for him. And the pass is away, and it's complete to Ozzy. And he's got it for a gain of about 16, yeah. And it's first and 10, just like that. We'll slow it up again, keep it nice and slow, keep a hold of that ball. We'll do an out pattern now to Reggie Rucker. as it off a uh, false start on uh, Cleveland. And uh, DeLone again, I think he's been called for a number of false starts here this uh, season. 
Um, all right, we're going to go split, split backs. So we'll go back to the shotgun, and we'll try something similar. We'll do a medium slant to Reggie. And we have it back, and it's good, good coverage. He has to dump it off to uh, Mike Pruitt, who gets forward a little bit, ends up gaining four yards, second and 11 now. And uh, we're going to go back to the eye. We'll run it just off tackle to Pruitt on that left side and uh, see if we can gain a couple more for a more favorable first down. We don't gain anything on that. We lose a yard. Now it's third and 12. That was not uh, what we wanted to see at all. Um, all right, so we'll bring out four wide receivers this time, and we'll uh, have a slant pass to Dave Logan. Let's see how this works. And the pass is away, and it's complete for a first down, and that worked like a charm. 15-yard gain on that pass, first and 10 now from the Green Bay 21-yard line. And we'll go back to Ozzy, do a little medium slant pattern. I'm always worried that I'm going to end up calling too many of the same plays, and the game will tell me that. We don't get a playoff, of course, it's the end of the quarter, so we'll try that again. We'll do that slant pattern again to Ozzie Newsom and uh, see what we can do here at the uh, top of the beginning of the uh, second quarter. And uh, unfortunately, the uh, defense is able to hold us there, um, prevents the pass, and so Sipe ends up running for three yards. Gain of three, second and seven, and... Uh, yeah, we're going to run this again to Mike Pruitt, this time on the right-hand side, and see if we can catch them a little bit off balance. And uh, it doesn't really catch anybody off balance. It gains two yards on the play, brings up third and five. We're going to go back to more normal formation, and uh, we'll do just a little, little pass to Dave Logan or to whoever might be open. And uh, Logan was open, double covered there, though you can see right in front, but he had room to run behind him, and uh, that ends up being incomplete. So fourth down, and we kick another field goal. And Cockroft has the kick up, and it is good. And it's unfortunately holding on the offense, so we're going to have to kick this one again, and goes back 10 yards. And uh, this is near Don's range, with not much of a range. Second attempt of the kick is up, and that's going to be good. That is good. 6 nothing now, Browns. And I can breathe a little bit easier. <laughs> let's get a big and deep kickoff, and let's hold these guys again. All right, that kickoff goes there to the uh, Green Bay 5-yard line. They bring it out to looks like about the 17, and it is first and 10 for the Packers. All right, we're going to do a short zone. We're going to look for a run here first down instead Dickey's back to pass and he ends up uh, dumping it off to ivory and uh, that fools the entire defense and he ends up gaining huge a 29 yard gain with uh, those two blockers in front of him that is a big play by green bay we're going to look for another passing play here and that was big in part because we were in that short zone i think we look for the pass here and harris gets back in and sacks uh Sacks Dickey for an 11-yard loss, and just like that, it's second and 21. They're almost back to where they were at the very beginning of this. Um, we're going to, again, play the zone, and we'll look for a pass and uh, see what we can do. That's complete again to Ivory, and you see this time, because we weren't playing that short zone, we had enough guys deep to prevent him from uh, getting more yardage. Um, we'll try again to look for the pass, staying in that zone here, third and 17. And that is incomplete. And that's a poor pass by Dickey, and that brings up fourth and 17 now. We're going to go ahead and uh, return this punt and see what we can get out of it. And it uh, looks like a fair catch signaled for by Wright there. That's right at the uh, 20, 21 yard line, and it is first and 10. And it's time for us to start really working on this clock. Let's see what we can do here. So Charlie White is going to go, and we're going to take it. We'll give him a little sweep play on the left side, give him a couple more reps. And White's got a hole and has a gain of seven yards. And, boy, that's a lot better than I was expecting. And now it is second down to three, and we'll just go to Pruitt again here. We'll do Pruitt on a draw play. Let's see if we can uh, confuse him a little bit, get that first down. There's the hesitation, and he goes forward, and now he doesn't get anything on that one. No gain, and that brings up third and three. We're going to have to pass, I'm sorry to say. Do a little slant again to Ozzie Newsome, and... They're looking past, of course. It's complete to Newsom right up the gut, and that is a first down. 12-yard gain, first and 10 from the Cleveland 40-yard line, and now that we have them thinking a little bit, we'll do a little medium pass to Reggie Rucker. Let's see if we can get a little home run here. And that is complete to Rucker, and uh, 
he's tackled right after he catches a 20 yard gain exactly what i was thinking about and now we can go back and we can run this again so we're going to have it first and 10 on the green bay 40 and we're going to have mike pruitt with the uh, run and they're looking pass and boy pruitt gets a pretty big gain gain of seven that is what we call setting up the run with the pass now let's see what we can do here I'll do a little screen pass to Charlie White, try to keep them off guard. And that's a poor pass. That's a poor pass by Brian Seif. I mean, you can even tell on this uh, this little replay tool. It, it was just not well done. We'll go over here to Ozzy. Little uh, medium fly pass. Let's see what we can do. Again, try to keep them off guard. And instead, uh, Seif ends up dumping it off to Pruitt. He gets the first down. Gain of six. That's all we needed. First and ten. And... We're going to go back to the split back formation, give him something different to think about, and we'll do a little cross pass to Reggie Rucker. Again, a medium pass, looking for looking for some sort of touchdown. Instead, it is, again, dumped off to Pruitt for a gain of three. It's been a lot of dumping in this game, man. And uh, all right, we'll go back to the I formation uh, to, I think, Pruitt again, and uh, let's have him do a little uh, trap run on the right side. Let's see if we can pound through this. And Pruitt's got the first down. That's exactly what we wanted to see happen. They were playing for the pass. 12-yard gain for Mike Pruitt. Excellent. You can see right here, pass, tight man-to-man uh, -man coverage. And Pruitt's just able to run it right up that hole, right up the gut, because they don't know what to expect from us. And now we'll try a little pass to Ozzie Newsom, see if we can get him open. And that pass is thrown too quickly by Sipe, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, that was not that was not very well-conceived or well-done. We'll do it to Pruitt again here, this time on a trap. Looking for a hole is Mike and doesn't quite get it. That's what they were looking for. We're kind of playing right into their hands, I think. And we have a guard that's injured on the play. I should probably figure out a way to turn that off so we can keep this game flowing. All right, third down and eight now for us. We're going to go again to Newsom, I think. We'll do a little short slant pass. I'm just looking for a first down, that's all. And instead, Seif can't find him. You can see that goal line defense is swarming over here, and that brings a fourth down. We'll kick another field goal, and we'll beat them with field goals if we have to, three points at a time. Cockcroft's kick is up, and it is good, and it's 9 nothing Browns. And because we were playing slow, we've eaten up a lot of clock once again. Five minutes to go here in the second, uh, second quarter in the first half. And uh, we're able to stop them after the kickoff return to the Green Bay 22-yard line. We've been very, very good at that so far today. Keeping the zone, play run defense. They're in the I formation. First and 10, you know that it's going to running back. It goes to Ellis this time. And we're looking for the run, and they're still able to gain. Looks like seven yards on that one. Second down and three coming up. And we'll go for just a basic offense and see what happens. You can see those extra... Um, wide receivers out there and uh, ends up being a little dump off pass over to Scott and or I'm sorry over to Ivy Ivory and uh, Scott uh, for us makes the tackle and uh, unfortunately it's first and 10 for them at the Green Bay 33 yard line and we're going to look for another run it's Ivory again and this time he's able to get a little bit of a seam uh, gain seven yards on that, even though we're looking for the run. Second down now, and we're going to play pass. Let's see if Dickey goes back to pass. No, it's another run by Ivory, and uh, we're able to stop him this time. Gain of two, third and one. And uh, this time, we're going to go into the short zone, look for a pass. They may just run it. They do run it there to Ivory again. He gains four yards, and that is the first down for Green Bay. We're not going to call timeout. First and 10 green on the Green Bay 46-yard uh, line. And again, we're going to look for the pass here. They might just run the ball all up the field on us, and that's perfectly fine. They do pass it, and there's a penalty on the play, and I'm worried that's going to be on us. Roughing the pass around the defense. Yeah, we totally nailed uh, Dickey. Harris got back and nailed him just as he threw, and that was, of course, the wrong thing to do. That stops the clock. That's a pretty poor defensive play on our part. First and 10, they run it to Ivory. Let them run it all that they want if they want to. He loses one on the play despite the fact we were looking for the pass. We're not going to call timeout. I don't care right now. Green Bay ends up calling timeout. Second and 11 to go, and we're going to look again for that pass. And uh, ends up, uh, boy, we almost had Dickey there before he was able to pitch that one off. Um, that was almost a broken play. Ends up being a six-yard gain. 
as uh, Ellis ends up uh, running on the right, and there's nobody there to stop him. And uh, that brings up third and five, and we'll look for the pass again. But uh, first, we'll have the two-minute warning. Looking for the pass here still on third and five, and there it is, and it's complete to Thompson, and that's an awful play by the cornerback. Totally out of position as Burrell there, and that ends up being a grabbing the face mask on Burrell after he was beaten on the play. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So first and 10 now. Now we've really got to start looking out for this run because they might just run it straight up after us, and, of course, they pass. So as you can see, this time around, I think I've been uh, sort of... Uh, I've been uh, outsmarted and outwitted by this computer in this endless chess game. And uh, we'll look for a run here again. Second down and six now from the Cleveland 14. And it's complete to Kaufman, the tight end, for first down. And uh, that should stop the clock, right? 147 to go here in the uh, half. And we're going to look again for a run because at some point in time they're going to need to. And they do run it to Ivory, and he's got, looks like, some room. No, Scott's able to make the tackle after three yards. Second and goal now from the four-yard line, and we're going to do our goal line defense. And it goes to Ivory again. He's got the touchdown. So the defense ends up being totally schooled on that. The Packers end up driving about 80 yards for that touchdown. And uh, just like that, it's uh, what happened there. Oh, that extra point attempt was blocked. So it is still 9-6 to six, Cleveland. Interesting. 9-6, 119 to go. We have all three timeouts, and we have time to do some fancy stuff if we really want. First and 10 now from, what, the Cleveland 22-yard line. We're going to go uh, to one of these more extreme formations. We'll go back to the shotgun. We'll go to Rucker. We're just going to do, I think, um, a long pass. Let's see what happens. Let's see how we are at our clock management. Sipe scrambling all over the place, then gets it off, throws it too high, incomplete to Rucker, unfortunately. And that brings up second down now. We might as well have some fun with this. We'll do a little out route to Dave Logan. Let's see if we can find him. Ends up not finding anybody. Um, Logan's covered by McCoy, and that wasn't a very good, uh, that wasn't a very good <laughs> passing route run by him anyway. And uh, let's see what we can do. We'll throw it to Ozzie Newsom here, see if we can go to somebody else. We have timeouts, probably should have uh, run it. And instead, um, we end up being sacked there by uh, Jones, it is. And so we're just going to punt this one off. And uh, that was a real unfortunate possession by us. Three straight or two straight um, incomplete passes and then a sack. Not the best of times for uh, Brian Sipe. And there's a penalty on Green Bay, 15-yard penalty for an illegal block automatically accepted it goes way back to the green bay 35 yard line and uh, we'll just stay in this zone we'll see if we can just sort of wait out this uh, clock here and uh, boy how about that it's a pass complete to ivory right from the start for green bay gain of three he steps out of bounds again the chalkboard not really able to uh, demonstrate that right but that's all right we look here on second down now 43 seconds to go we get the rush in the blitz almost works and then it's complete to ellis who's able to run straight over the defense where there is no defense and roughing the passer is called on matthews and those penalties are really starting to hurt us now First and 10 now for Green Bay from the Cleveland 43-yard line, 33 seconds to go, and Matthews is able to get to Dickey this time and knocks the ball out, and Jackson picks it up, and that is a fumble, and it is first down for Cleveland at the 50-yard line exactly. And uh, we're going to keep uh, the uh, two running backs here, and we're going to try probably for a uh, short pass here to Reggie Rucker. Let's see if we can make some magic. And that wasn't anything at all. And uh, no, that was intercepted. It's intercepted by Estes Hood, the cornerback. It was a poor pass again by Sipe looking for that short pass to Rucker. And he just throws the ball into the opposing player's arms. And it is uh, first and 10 for Green Bay at the Green Bay 41. And of course, we're looking for the pass. It ends up being dumped off to Ellis. Um, and it's he's tackled after a gain of eight. Uh, and that brings up uh, second down and two. And Green Bay calls a timeout. No timeouts left for them. We're just going to do a basic run just in case they, or a basic defense in case they decide to run. Instead, they are going to pass. They throw this pass complete to Ivory, who looks at least on the chalkboard like he's got um, a bunch of his own blockers preventing him from moving forward. And this is going to be probably the final play of the first half, finally. 
And there it goes, and that's the end. They can't get a playoff, and we kick it away to begin it. So Cleveland with the lead 9-6 to six here after uh, uh, two quarters of play. And uh, we had some good and some bad in that uh, first half, and um, that was a very good uh, special teams play to hold them at the Green Bay 11-yard line. And it is first and 10 for the Packers, and it really is time for us to look for a pass. I think that's what they're going to do right from the start. And they do drop back to pass, and it's complete to Lofton. And uh, that was a pretty quick pass um, right over the head of that cornerback um, who uh, <laughs> who should be able to have a, a good matchup against Lofton, but not there, unfortunately. We're going to look now for the run, first and 10 of the Green Bay 22, and uh, they end up passing. Dickey goes back to throw, and it's complete again up the middle to Kaufman, the tight end. That's a big gain of 16, and Dickey's having a very, very good passing game against this defense. Let's see what we can do to stop him. First and 10 from the Green Bay 38, and of course they run it to Ellis, and Ellis ends up gaining looks like about five on that play. That brings up second down and five, and uh, we're moving pretty quickly here because of all these passing plays. Second and five for Green Bay, and uh, they end up running it with Ivory and gain three, third and two now, and I do think that they're going to pass it here. So let's see if we can stop them. Nope, it's a run to Ellis, and Ellis has got the first down. He gains, oh, short by a foot. He gains, it looks, looked like from here that he had it. We'll call for a punt return and see if they call another fake. Um, we're going to try to return this punt. Well, the return goes pretty much nowhere. We get five yards in the return, first and 10 from the Cleveland 15-yard line. And we're going to go back to this I formation and go back to things that worked for our offense a little bit earlier on in the game. First and 10, we'll take it to the right side with Mike Pruitt. And Pruitt's got a hole and uh, winds up gaining seven yards in that play. They hit a second down and three. And uh, we'll keep it in the same formation. We'll go to the left side with Charlie White. Try to get him a little bit more yardage, and White's got it and nowhere to run, and that brings up third and three. No gain for White. This is where it's helpful to have Ozzie Newsom because we can always call a little passing play to him. We'll do another one of these medium cross passes until the game gets upset with us for calling it too much, and that is complete to Newsom, and he's got the first down as a gain of 15, and that's exactly what we want to see. First and 10 now, and we're going to stay in this formation we're going to go, uh, I think, over to uh, Dave Logan. Yeah, a little medium crossing pass, cross pattern over to Logan. And Seif is in trouble after that blitz. He gets it off miraculously, and Dave Logan's got it for a first down 19-yard game on that play. And now we're doing a little bit more of what I want us to do. We'll do Mike Pruitt here going to the left side first and 10. And they're looking pass, and Pruitt's able to get only three yards in that play, second and seven now, and now we can do a little... A little bit of fun over to uh, Ozzie Newsom. And there's a blitz by the Packers, and uh, Seif has to dump that one off to Pruitt, who gains a couple yards, three yards gained on that, third and four. And uh, that's all right. We'll take it. We'll uh, have a little pass to Dave Logan. Let's see if we can get a first down and uh, get us in a position to add to the lead. Instead, um, it's incomplete after Seif throws into triple coverage. That wasn't such a good idea, was it? It brings up fourth and four, and I hate to say this, but we have to punt. We're at the 40, what, 38 yard line, and we still have to punt. The reason why is because our field goal kicker can't kick a field goal from there. Ends up being a sideline punt that pins them down, looks like at the 15 yard line of Green Bay. And it is first and 10 for the Packers. 7.03 left to go here in the third quarter. And we're going to look out for that run. And they pull it back, and it is a run to Ivory, and it looks like he sort of shoves the <laughs> linebacker out of the way, gains seven yards, second and three. We're going to look again for that run. We'll play actually a short zone this time. See if we can get him to audible. And uh, there is a run over to Ivory, and uh, he doesn't have far to run, and he ends up gaining, it looks like, one, two yards on that play, and it's third and one. And uh, now we're going to look for the pass. Third and one now, and nope, it goes to Ivory again, and he's got room to run, baby, and we can't, <laughs> we can't seem to stop him. He runs, makes a spin move, and finally is pulled down after a gain of 19 at the Green Bay 43-yard line, first and 10. And, well, so, so far today, Dickey's having a good game, and Ivory's having a good game, and yet the Packers only have six points. Dickey with an incomplete pass there on first and 10, and that brings up second and 10 here from the Green Bay 43-yard line. 
and Dickey pulls this one back as well as we're looking for a run, and it's complete to Lofton, and he's Dickey can throw to Lofton all day long. I don't think that there's much that we can do to uh, stop him, and that is that for Burrell, who's taken out with an injury, and that's going to be a problem because now we have Judson Flint in there, who's not so great, and Ron Bolton is going to still be on uh, Lofton, but yeah, Flint is not good. We need to stay in the zone and uh, <laughs> try to do what we can to cover up for these uh, cornerbacks who unfortunately are not very good. First and 10, they have a little run up the gut. as holding on the offense. We're going to accept that. Now it's first and 20. That's what we want to see. Now we can look again for the pass because they're almost certainly going to pass it here. Instead, uh, there's a little pitch out to uh, Ivory, and we're able to stop him. Gain of only two on that. It's a little, kind of a ridiculous play call. Um, second and 18 now. And uh, that is a pass <laughs> by Dickey that's intercepted by Scott at the 41-yard line, and he is tackled there. But unfortunately, we are called for rushing, rough, rough, uh, roughing the passer against Jackson. That gives Green Bay 15 yards, automatic first down, first and 10 for the Packers. And I think we're actually going to go into this nickel. Let's see if we can stop a potential pass. And then, of course, they run it as soon as they see it, and it's up the hole for Ivory, who's got a gain of 13. Well, that's the last time we're going to try that one. Ivory able to get to the second level, and, boy, that, that was a pretty risky call on my part. And uh, the our linebacker's there to stop him on this first down run, and uh, – Ivory just runs right past him, shook that tackle loose by Jackson, and uh, gets the big gain, second and two. And um, I meant to click run, click pass instead. Uh, they run it to Ivory, and I think he would have gotten this first down pretty much no matter what. Gain of three, first and goal now. We go into our goal line defense, and let's see if we can stop him. First and goal, and it goes to who else? To Ivory again, and Harris makes a tackle this time. Gain of two yards. Now second and goal at the Cleveland five-yard line. And this is another run by Ivory, and that goes all the way through for a touchdown. So much for the rubber band defense, huh? 12 to 9 Packers, and uh, we'll see how this extra point goes. And that is up and good, and it is 13 to 9 Packers. And this offense, as I was saying last week, this offense um, sputters from time to time, and it's uh, not a good time for us. Big return there, though, on that kickoff as we're able to make it up to the Cleveland 30-yard line, first and 10. We'll go back to the I formation, and uh, we will try a pass this time to Dave Logan. It's always dangerous to pass on first down. There is a slant, slant pass, and it's complete over the cornerback to Logan. Gain of 16, first down. And we'll try to go to Ozzie Newsom this time with a medium crossing pattern. Again, make him think we're going to run. They're looking, mm, sort of looking pass. Ends up being incomplete. Second down. And they Now they were looking run, and they were keying Pruitt on that one. How about that? Now we can uh, do a little run to Pruitt. Let's see if we can confuse them a little bit. Second and 10, and here's a run to uh, Greg Pruitt, and he ends up gaining five yards. That's the end of the quarter, and we should be right on the 50-yard line. We're on the Green Bay 49-yard line. Third and five, Green Bay 49-yard line. We'll stay in that I formation. We'll have a little pass over to Ozzie Newsom again here. And that's an awful pass. That's a bad pass by Sype. And uh, it's just nowhere near him. And uh, you can see they were in that 4-2 nickel. They were looking for a pass. And so now we have to punt, and that is not what we want to do in this situation. And it's another one of those games, isn't it? Evans with the kick back to, looks like, about the 11-yard line, 10, 11-yard line. Kick of 38 yards. First down, and I think we are going to look for a pass here. First and 10, back in that nickel. Instead, they run it to Ellis, and uh, this is the problem with the <laughs> nickel. Ellis is able to run it basically right through everybody. Second and one now, and we're going to play our run defense. I noticed that we're back on man, so I'm going to try to change that here, this next play call. Ivory with a big gain anyway. Gains nine that we were looking for the run. First and 10 for them, and we're going to go back to the zone, and we're going to key Ivory, I believe, and we'll have a little run against him. Even when we key him, he's got a 76% uh, chance of a gain, and we keyed him, and he got a gain of three. How about that? 10 tackles by Clarence Scott today, which is okay, but um, I would rather see us tackle them um, before they have a major gain. Second and seven for the Packers. And it's a run to Ellis, and Ellis only gets, looks like, about two on that one. 
third and five now for Green Bay, and we know that they're going to pass. We'll just uh, keep the same setup. No, they're running it there to Ivory, and he's got a first down easily. There is a penalty. Maybe it's a hold. Offside in the defense. No, that's automatically declined, and uh, Ivory now has 107 yards today. Another first down for Green Bay, and they're getting to the point where they could probably uh, just run us off of it. So we're going to key run on Ivory, and that's a false start, thankfully. False start on the offense. Five-yard penalty, and first and 15 now. I'm still going to look for that run. I'm worried that they're still going to run it. And instead, it's a complete pass by Dickey over to Lofton for a big gain, gain of 17. And you can see right here in Action PC Football that uh, uh, sort of psychological aspect of the game, which is that uh, you end up looking for something because you've seen it so many times. And, you know, this, especially at this point in the game, if you just change up the play calling a little bit, you can kind of, you know, cause the uh, other play coach to tilt. And here I am calling for a pass, and they run it. Loss of one for the Packers, second and 11. And um, I'm going to look for the run this time, right? I'm sort of guessing. What what are they going to do? I don't know exactly. And they end up throwing it almost right over the middle um, again to James Lofton. And that would have been a huge gain for them. And uh, we're getting to the point where it's sort of the ball game if they make the pass. There's another one of those little screen passes over to Ivory. And, I mean, he catches the ball, and he just keeps going and going and going. Ambrose now is injured. Dickey's got 184 yards. Ivory's got 107 yards rushing. It's fourth down now, fourth and three. We know that they're going to punt. No, they're not going to punt. They're going to go for this. All right. We're going to look for a run from Ivory, and they don't run it. Instead, it's a little dump pass over to Kaufman. He's complete, and that is the first down gain of seven for Green Bay, first and ten. Man, you talk about a gutsy play call. First and 10, and now Green Bay can think about sort of running this one out. Now they go back to pass. Instead, they pass it to Ellis there, another running back pass. And I tell you, they complete one of those passes, and, uh, well, we have a missed tackle. That's the problem. 12-yard gain for Green Bay. First and 10 at the Cleveland 20-yard line. We'll look for a pass, and they'll just run it again. Let's see what happens. They do run it to Ivory. Just as I said, we, we're able to hold them now. We're able to get them for a loss of one. But this is the problem. This is what I was talking about, whereas where you know, when you're calling these plays, you start to tilt a little bit because you're like, I have no idea what's coming. I have no idea what they're going to do. I thought I had an idea earlier on, and this time I'm just sort of guessing. That goes right through Scott's hands, uh, that uh, little curl pass intended for Hoffman. It was close to an interception, third and 11 now, and we're going to look again for a pass. And uh, Dickey does go back to pass and throws it forward. And I'm wondering why they don't go to uh, James Lofton and, uh, again. Anyway, whatever. Here's the field goal attempt. And that is up. And that's going to be wide. No good. Okay. No good. 13 to, 10, 13 to 9 Packers. We've got the ball. First and 10 from our own 21-yard line. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for our mainstay. We're going to go uh, with a run to Pruitt on that right side. And he has a little bit of room to run there. Fumbles it, and it's um, De La Milieu who picks it up for a additional gain of... Uh, no, it's uh, stopped there at the uh, 24 gain of three on the play. That's right because of the rules of the time. Brings up second and seven. And we'll see if we can pass it out here to Dave Logan. We need to start gaining yards. And unfortunately, they're looking for the pass, and they keyed Logan. No, they weren't. I'm sorry. They had basic defense. They were keying Pruitt. But uh, they were able to stop it regardless. And um, what are we doing here? We are going to go out of this I formation. We'll go to split back formation here again. We'll go over to Reggie Rucker, a little short hitch pass. Let's see if we can get a first down. And there was the blitz, and the ball is complete to Rucker somehow. <laughs> ignore ignore the man behind that uh, green curtain. I mean, if you look at this uh, replay, see if it does it again. This ball is thrown as like a, a magic trick, right? I mean, how did that ball wind up up there? Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. 209 yards passing now for Sype in this game. And uh, we have first and 10 from the Green Bay 35-yard line, which is exactly what we want. Excellent pass to uh, Rucker. We're going to go to Pruitt again, and we'll do a uh, trap run on the left side, which is the side where we have the strong blocking today. And unfortunately, it doesn't help as much. We gain one yard. 
And it is second down and nine to go. And we got to go. We're going to stay in the I formation. And we're going to throw it to Ozzie Newsom. See if they do blitz. See if I care. They do blitz. And Newsom is open and has room to run. Finally brought out of bounds at the seven-yard line gain at 27. That is exactly what we wanted to see. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Now it's first down and 10. First down and goal, I'm sorry, from the Green Bay seven-yard line. And we're going to run Pruitt with an off tackle to the right. Looking for a hole. Can't really find it. Gains three on the play. Second down and goal. And we're going to try a little pass to Dave Logan. Let's see if we can just get the touchdown. Nowhere to go. Sipe ends up being sacked. Third and goal now. Do a cross pattern to Reggie Rucker. It's complete to Pruitt and is dumped off, and there's a little bit of a gain. There's a penalty probably against us, I'm guessing. Holding on the defense, four-yard penalty, automatic first down. That brings it up to the Green Bay three-yard line. That is a big, big penalty. All right, now we're going to try to um, have Pruitt dump it on or push it on in a little bit of a dive play here from the shotgun over to Pruitt. Unable to get anywhere. Second down. And goal from the four-yard line. Let's try a screen pass to Pruitt. Let's just see what we can do. That is incomplete. He can't hold on to that one. Two drop passes by Pruitt today, so we probably don't want to go to him again. All right, we'll try for that dive play again to Pruitt, see if he can dive for four. And he can, and he gets in, and he gets the touchdown. And there are less than four minutes left to go in this game as we kick this extra point. It's going to be Cleveland 16, Green Bay 13. And they don't call them the cardiac kids for nothing, man. Oh, man, can we stop them? That's the big question today. 293 net uh, yards for us in this game. That ends up being a touchback. 322 net yards for Green Bay. We got 236 yards passing today. Um, and... Uh, this has been a pretty interesting and pretty exciting game, and uh, the question is, what do we do? So I think we key Ivory. We're just going to play basic in case they pass instead, and they do pass, and Dickey is in trouble, and he ends up scrambling and runs out, and he gets a gain of three yards is all. And that brings up second down and seven for them, and they are going to pass. Absolutely, they have to pass in this situation. And then what do they do? They run. What did I tell you? You start tilting. That's what it is. You start tilting third and five now for the Packers. They're playing that hurry-up offense, so we're going to look for the pass again, and they run it to Ivory, and that's the last person we want to see with the ball. And did Matthews stop him? No, he ended up getting the first down. He has a season high today of 111 yards rushing, and we're going to look for the pass one more time. First and 10. It's Ivory. Who else? And he has a gain of four, 115 yards now today for Ivory. We're not going to call the timeout. We don't care so much about it. We're going to look for the pass again. They're in the I formation, and they do go back to pass. And that is incomplete, intended for James Lofton. And that brings up third down. And uh, here come those wide receivers. We're going to play 3-2 dime. We're going to play just a normal zone. And we are going to look for the pass. This is your ball game right here. If we can stop him, and it's complete to James Lofton. Of course, should be I should be doubling uh, Lofton. I think, I think that's what we're going to do, sort of from here on out. Now we're going to have three two dime. I can't double him, unfortunately, and uh, but I can do this. All right, we're going to look for the pass, and that is an incomplete pass. And just as I thought, that was intended for Lofton. Second down now. We're also going to go back to the 3 2 time. Normal coverage. Keep the two um, zone defensive backs, and we are going to uh, try to stop Lofton again. Second down and 10. They go back for the pass, and this time it's complete to Nixon. Have we seen Nixon today? I don't think I remember even saying his name. First down, gain of 11, two minute warning. First and 10 from the Cleveland 41 yard line, and we're not going to key anybody. We're going to keep that man coverage, look for the pass. That is incomplete. Second down and 10, and we're going to keep keep it up and do the same thing. Whoop, I clicked on the 4-1 dime, my bad. 
and that's complete to Lofton, and Darden's able to make the tackle, but it's after a gain of 11. Back to the 3-2 dime, which we're better with. 147 left on the clock. That's a little pitch out to Ellis, and he gains two, and they're going to call offside in the defense. That was a late penalty. First and five now. We're actually going to call basic defense in case they run it again. They do run it to Ellis, and we're able to gang tackle him there, but after a gain of four, tenth tackle of the day for Dick Ambrose. Um, the dive play works. That's going to be a timeout by Green Bay, and we're just going to call basic defense here. Second and one from the Cleveland 21 is the run to Ellis, and there's another flag on the play. Scott makes the tackle after a gain of seven. It's holding on the offense, so we will accept that one. Second and 11 now. Now we can start with this passing defense. All right. And they are going to pass. It's complete to Nixon, but um, he ends up with a gain. looks like just about four. Darden with another tackle. He's a tackling machine, which is good, but I wish we could tackle before... They make the gain. <laughs> There's another pass, and you knew that was coming, and uh, that is an incomplete pass intended for Thompson. It's Beeman on the coverage. And now this is an interesting part of this game. We can slow this down a little bit here, right? Because the question is, do you kick a field goal or do you go for it? And apparently the answer here is you go for it. I don't know how good or how bad this uh, Green Bay uh, field goal kitch kicker is. I'm not even sure who it is. Um, but uh, that is a good, good question because you know that they're going to pass fourth and seven, and uh, this is the ball game. It's complete to Lofton and uh, on the short pass, and Lofton has a touchdown. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. 122 yards receiving for Lofton today. Bolton was the GOAT as he misses the tackle, and uh, with this extra point, it's going to be 20 to 16 Green Bay. And that was another game that we could have won if this uh, so-called rubber band defense had actually held together instead of uh, bending and allowing the offense to score to gain yardage left and right. And now it's desperation time for us. We're going to have the um, uh, we're going to have the tight end in, so we have an empty backfield. And uh, let's see if we can have a big gain, big pass to Reggie Rucker. Let's see if we can start this off right. And you can see them with that uh, dime defense, and that pass is going nowhere. Second and 10 now, and we'll just keep this the same. Have a little slant pass to Ozzie Newsom and see what we can do. Keep the play in front of you guys. And instead, it's the uh, pass to Logan as Newsom was covered. You can see him there up the middle. Gain of eight, and that brings up third down and two. We'll try a cross pattern to Newsom, and that's incomplete. He wanted a flag. Yeah, we have to pass. All right, we'll do a cross pass to Dave Logan. That's incomplete. That's incomplete. That's the ball game. Sipe uh, couldn't find a receiver, tried for one to uh, Pruitt, and couldn't find him incomplete. That's a ball game. That's going to end. It's going to be 2016 Packers at the final. I mean, we can call a timeout, I suppose, but it's not going to do any good. We're not going to see this ball again. Second down and 10. There's the running play, and that ends up being a one-yard loss. Third and 11. We call the timeout. We're not going to give up. I should be playing aggressively, I know. And that's the that's the game. Complete the Kaufman up the gut. 400 and something yards, 419 yards of net offense um, for Green Bay. We call our final timeout, and there's no real need to. And uh, this is going to do it. 419 yards of offense, maybe a little bit more here from Ivory. And uh, we have 310 yards of offense today. And uh, yeah, 422 yards. And that does it. That's the end of the ball game. And Green Bay ends up winning in a thriller, um, 20-16. to 16. And it was all because of that uh, Dickey pass to James Lofton, and James Lofton just ran us wild. Well, I sure hope that you enjoyed that. I'm not sure how much I enjoyed that. I would enjoy it more if uh, we could score some more um, points. Let me know what you think we should be doing with this offense um, down below, and I will uh, take your suggestions and um, see what we can do. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.